obviously the last two years, there's a, the last year is when Mahomes started this, you know, the, the, the Texas workouts with all the, the skilled players and stuff. And obviously it was successful. Coach Reed let him do it, bring it back this year again. You've been one of the guys who's, who's at, who's been at this, um, the Texas workouts. Kind of talk to us about what you've learned from just being being around all the guys in the in this offseason program with Pat in uh in Texas. Just kind of talk about that a little bit. Well, you just learn the offense more in depth, so to speak. Um, yeah, you really get you really get his time and of the routes and the plays. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like you get a cheat code and you know where you got to be and when you got to be there. You get a better feel of, of that. So, um, yeah, that's why it's, it's been a good thing because you, you get accustomed to the quarterback and the quarterbacks get accustomed to the receiver. So it's a really good thing. And, and you kind of getting down and getting a jump on everything offensively because which that's what it's for, uh, which you, you don't quite – you don't quite hear about a lot of quarterbacks kind of doing what Pat is doing. It's taking a lot of guys down with him and, you know, going through the offense, uh, guys getting more comfortable with him and the route running and whatnot. You being in the system for the one year, uh, were you able to help out some of the guys that hadn't been there, kind of letting them know exactly what, you know, they were, you know, what was required of them? What about yourself? How was how was your progression in this? Was like, are you still learning everything, the nuances of what you do out there as far as I've gone to field too? Uh yeah, I was it was help when help need help and uh get help when help is needed, you uh, kind of thing. Yeah. Um but no, I don't fully know everything, but um I know a good bit of things. Okay. But um we, you, are, are, do you feel like yeah, you get, it was kinda you, you think you get more comfortable in, in the office? Say it again. Do you feel like you're getting more comfortable? Oh, 100%. 100%. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm 100% getting more comfortable each and every day. Um, what do you, uh, let me ask you this, because like I was I was saying before, like the move from, you know, certain positions is not new. I, and I think like in this offense, what I look at it for is a lot of like kind of plug and play. Like guys can do multiple things. It's a lot of window dressing and what I see. And, you, you know, you talk about concept offense – um, you know, just get kind of give me like what you you knew in college and now getting into the NFL, playing in a, a, a Andy Reid, his offense. Uh, what, what do you what do you think about it? The, the you know, tell it like the fun about it, what you see, you know, that goes on. What do you think about it? the matchups, all those different things? Just kind of give a little bit, a little taste of that, man. Um, just you. Compared to my offense in the office in college to this one, yeah, is just the words that come to mind is freedom. You have a lot more freedom in your routes. Okay. Um so to speak, um it's more tailored to you to win. Mm. Okay. Okay. So so, you know, obviously me, you know, playing offensive, you know, where you kind of uh, you know, it's not the traditional, hey, get 10 yards and run out. I'm sure it's still that, but maybe if it's, you know, running out route, it's still like, hey, look, you know, kind of find the hole, find the window in the space, right? Push off the guy in relation to everybody else out here as well. So when I hear freedom, yeah, like it just goes along with um, the coverage, you know, different coverages present you different things. And so, you know, it just goes off the presentation of the defense. You just counter and offer them. Okay. Okay. And that's what I mean. That, and it gives you a freedom where in like most in most offenses, when you have a, a dagger or something, you don't have the ability to strike back out. Right. You, you got to keep it a dagger and a dagger only. But yeah. if you get walled off, you can't get it to the inside and then known how to strike out that sort of things where you might see Kelsey just like run he just be wide open because he's just running open space that type that type of thing you just got it's a lot of freedom and it just goes with it just, just when knowing the presentation 
and knowing where you got to get to. Okay. And being on time. That's just all it is. All right. Okay. So basically, it's like pretty much uh, take what the defense gives you, right? Right. 100%. Yeah, and then you just use against them what they what they giving to you. Like, okay, if they want to run this, then you get open and run that. All right. Okay. All right. It's a lot of flexibility in your route running ability. Yeah, I love it, man. I love it. Shoot, man. When I when I'm doing my time, man, we you know running West Coast offense, and you know we we did a uh, a lot of the Air Coriel. Uh, you know, you you have you kind of stuck in the routes, if 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 you will. And I've said this, like when I when I look at it on film, I see a lot of almost like scramble drill in in a sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and and that's what I said. I said, man, it, when they, when I'm look, I'm looking at them guys out there running these routes, and Pat breaks out or something happens, it seems like scramble drill. Okay, bet, all right, get open. You see, Pat, if he if he he breaks to the right or something. You you got to follow him, right? You be in that in that plane. If you get you know, if you the deep route, come short. If you the you know short route, go deep, right? If you got the shallow, you know maybe you know you turn it into like you said, uh, you know maybe a little bit, you know, kind of uh, uh, more according to the sideline and just kind of get open, man. Uh, but I love it. Like with, with your ability, uh, it's it's what I, I was saying when I watched you in college and what you can give to the Chiefs right now, uh, I think, man, is 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 some danger. I think, man, you just got you got a lot of dangerous things to you. Like, seriously, man, like I, I want to see you out on the field because I know what you can do. When I watch you in college, I'm like, man, this guy right here would be a perfect fit for the Chiefs in this offense. Be an absolute perfect fit. Uh, and so, I, I, you know, I want you, to, I want you to get that opportunity, man. Uh, let me ask you this. Okay, you, you got down there with with Pat. Uh, you you start doing some some things, learning the offense. Do you feel like you've gotten stronger physically in these things as well? What do you, how do you feel? Where you where you fit in this whole scheme of things right now? Yeah, I feel like um, I've definitely made a, a strong case for myself. Yeah. Okay, strong case, man. Are you talking about physically or like? Yeah. Well, we know like like for us, it's it's pretty much it's a numbers game, right? Right. So, you know, we when you talk about strong case, uh, you know, there's a lot of different guys in the room. A lot of different guys, you know, why I receive a lot of different guys at running back. It's all about how you fit in, okay, it gets everybody else. Um, and so like I said, having it where one year under your belt, um, do you do you feel like you have a good opportunity, man, to to display what you can do this year? I do. I feel like I'm going to be given an opportunity to, to show what I can do, whether that's in preseason or in, or in the season. I think I will actually have a, a chance to actually get the ball in my hands and show my playmaking ability. How hungry are you right now, man? How hungry about the, are you about to stay? Man, I get, I'm hungry enough to eat a, my plate, your plate, and whoever plate is in front of me. <laughs> Love it. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.